guys welcome to my channel my name is miracle mimi for short if this is the first time seeing my beautiful beautiful face you're welcome so our next video is for a woman raise her marriage in 30 seconds like gosh your husband goes out to work like to do things how like i don't even understand you cannot cook cook for your husband it's not a problem for 13 hours like if it was you a woman who go out to work for 13 hours like and come back home there's no food for you at home how will you feel no now nah, how will you feel especially me safe like me if i go out like especially if when when i even cook safe i'll cook the food and i go out and when i come back and there's nothing for me to eat. The way I'll be very angry. Eh? Like, it will just be as if I should crush everybody I see there. Don't waste of a man that will go out to go and work for 13 hours and come back. His wife will not even cook for him. Someone that is providing for the family. You are bringing money for children. You are paying the bills. You are also giving, maybe he's even giving the wife allowance or pocket money. Ah, oh shit. Women, my gender, I'm gonna be try small. My gender, at least be trying now. Be trying, be trying. Ah, let's check this video out. This video is going viral and people are mad. Basically, the story goes that the husband comes home from a 13 hour shift at work and he starts confronting his wife, asking her, why didn't you cook for me? She basically responds saying, make it yourself. And she's also eating a pizza while doing this, which is pretty funny. Now the reaction is pretty mixed here. I think about 90% of people are on the husband's side, but there's also like this large group of people that are on the wife's side here. Husband came home after a 13 hour shift with no food at home. And I ain't got no food. To come on too, huh? Why you get something on your way home? Why you have to record for your raggedy cousin? Look. I just pulled a 13 hour shift. You being my wife, I pay all the bills in here. All the dishes clean, your clothes clean. Why what? You you don't you don't fix me no lunch for my for, for my job. You eat. You work from home. Okay, I, I can't come home to a full cooked meal. This is that I had from last night. But I'm saying I I can't come home to a full cooked meal. What what we married for? What we married for? I'm not your mama. I'm your wife. Okay, just to clarify a few things before we watch the rest of the clip, both the husband and the wife are actually working. Now, the husband works at an office and the wife works from home. Now, keep in mind that despite the fact that both of them are earning money, the husband actually pays all the bills. So 100% of all the expenses for them and their children are paid for by the husband. Now, the arrangement they have is pretty weird. Despite the fact that both of them actually earn money, only the husband is paying for the bills and the wife keeps her own money to spend on herself. So because the husband is paying for all the bills he's asking her to cook for him and do house chores like a housewife except for the fact that she actually does have an income that she refuses to share with the family now apparently she has no problem doing stuff like the clothes and the dishes but for some reason she specifically doesn't want to cook for him your dishes clean your clothes clean your clothes you always got to clean clothes when you go to work don't you working all these long goddamn hours i can't come on to a pool cut meal Huh? I just knew I was gonna come home and have have some food on the goddamn stove. Hmm. And now you playing, man. You playing. You, you playing. Got your way home. You well, you got playing. What the hell we get married for? You been doing it for like two or three months, man. What is it? I can't get no food when I come to the house. Okay, so the guy keeps repeating himself. It seems like he's pretty upset. Now, I will say that my position on recording your partner has always been the same. Uh, I never condone recording your partner unless there's some, like, sort of abuse going on that you need to show the internet or something. I get people have emotions and you get mad about your relationship, but you should always keep personal matters and solve it yourself because exposing it to TikTok is just going to make it worse. Now, it seems like the fight has been going on for months now, and the husband has a little bit of a meltdown to work Towards the end where he's just like I basically do everything and you don't even say hi to me at work she also offers him the half-eaten pizza which is definitely not a sign of a healthy relationship so a couple of Twitter responses before the rest of the clip if she works too he shouldn't expect her to be a housewife it's 50 50 on chores and looks like she's already cleaning and doing laundry as well as working 
huge L for him. Summary responds saying, no, she works and then puts all the money in the bank. She doesn't pay any bill. It's him, the one paying for everything. So yes, she's working from home, but it's not 50-50 when it's time to pay things. It's 100-0. Not fair, and the least she could do is prepare a meal. Now, in terms of fairness, I will say it's definitely not fair for the guy. I mean, if it's 100-0 and then she just gets to keep all her money, there's no world in which that is fair. Now, after this, it gets really dicey because she tells him that's what you're supposed to do. That single statement was enough to piss everybody off. You don't even, you don't even, you don't even tell me have a good day when I leave out the house. Did you have a good day today? Fuck that, man. I'm tired of this, man. You over here eating pieces of shit. You ain't, you ain't called me all goddamn day since I've been at work. Damn, can't come home to her. I, I make sure the kids good. They got school clothes, right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You good, right? I pay the goddamn car notes, right? But why the, why the man in the house can't eat? Why I can't come on? I bet they, I, I bet they ate today. They did eat today. They eat every day. That's true, dude. They eat every day. They're supposed to eat every because day. Because of who? Why your bank account got money in it? Why your bank account got money in it? What you mean, why my bank account got money in it? Why would because you, you able to keep your money from your job. You don't pay no goddamn bill. I pay the car notes, the house notes. Every sport they in, I pay for it. Family trips, I'm paying for yeah, so you can see why most people are on the husband side now because saying that that's what you're supposed to do while not doing your own role is a, is a bit confusing. So he works all day at his job and then he pays all the bills for himself, for you, and for the children and you contribute nothing and then you have the audacity to say that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, you got to contribute something, right? That's the nature of the traditional relationship where one party protects and provides, as you said, and the other party probably does the chores and cooks, you know, and raises the children. I was almost sympathetic to her for a second until she had to say that's what you're supposed to do when he said he pays for literally everything. Okay, fine then. If we're doing gender roles, then I'm supposed to give you all of my money and then make me some freaking food right now. I will say it doesn't matter if she works because if she's working and not contributing any money to the family, then that's the same as not working, right? Because you're not contributing anything. Like if you're out there just keeping all the money in your bank or spending it on designer bags or something for yourself and not spending it on your kids, that's, that's just messed up. That's not how you run a family. Now this person points out that if you're eating yourself, then you can surely get something for the other person because if you're cooking for yourself, then you can just make a larger meal and then you'll be cooking for the other person. And if you're ordering something, just order something for the other partner as well. So it's not like this absolutely huge ordeal of extra work that you need to do. She works too, so where's her full course meal? Unless your wife is a housewife, you have zero right to berate her about why she isn't catering to you. She's tired too after working and taking care of the kids basically alone if he's gone for 13 hours a day. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think working counts if the family is not seeing any of that money. Like all the children's clothes and the children's- Unrelatable. Gosh, for crying out loud, who does that? You will not cook for your husband. Like, I know, I know we have some work to do. Taking care of the children, watching of the house, cleaning of the house and cooking. I know it can, it might be tiring. If it's a little bit tiring, you can't discuss with your husband. Honey, please, can we get a maid? That can be helping you in doing so, the chores. Like, your husband literally pays for everything. Ah, it is me, Oshie. My husband will not find anything. He will not even find anything complaining. He will not even look for anything to come. If it's food, I will make sure I'll be giving you food. Money, afternoon, and night. So first, he brings the money. He draws money every day and every end of the month. Even if say, my conscience will even be judging me. Say, my conscience will surely judge me. Like, I'm a human for crying out loud. We are all human. My gender, I'm looking at the guest sense more now. My gender, people should be having small sense. Like, how will you not cook for your husband? Like, God, even the Bible said we should be submissive. The, the man is the head of a home. And literally says that protects you and it also provides. How will, how will you and your husband be sharing 50-50? Okay, if, if you are working and your husband is working, that one is understandable. Yes, that one is literally understandable. But that is not the case right now. You are not working, you are just a housewife. 
And you know, and you know the economy right now. Things are really, really hard. Like really, 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 really hard. Things are really, extremely, really, 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 really hard. And it's not easy. So we should not be making it hard for our husbands out there. Like we should not. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, watch, and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.